How to create this AI hyperlapse effect using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Creating this effect is easier than you think. You will just need a stabilized hyperlapse and access to the latest version of Photoshop which gives you the possibility to use generative fill. So let's start and jump into Premiere first. I've already imported my stabilized hyperlapse here and I'm gonna create a new sequence. Let's do a quick preview here, resize a bit so you can see it. As you can see, stabilized hyperlapse of the TV tower in Berlin. And the first step you wanna do is create an in and out point for the time you want to apply the effect to. So I'm gonna hit E and O to mark the two and three second marker here. And that's where I want to apply my AI hyperlapse effect to. Next step is go to File, Export, and I'm going to send it to Media Encoder. In Media Encoder, you want to change the file type to PNG. Make sure PNG sequence is selected. Go here and select maximum render quality. Also, you can, if you want, change the frame rate to something slower than the original to make the effect appear slower but you can also leave it at 25 in this case and slow down later. Render at maximum depths, click OK. Choose a folder where you want to save the hyperlapse sequence to and then click Start. In Photoshop, you want to go to File, Scripts and Load Files into Stack. Locate the folder where you saved the image sequence to. Select all of the images, click Open and wait for Photoshop to import all of them. As soon as Photoshop has imported all of your files, you want to select the part you want to change. Select it like this maybe. Go to Generate a Fill and type in something you want to change it to. I'm going to go for Futuristic Skyscraper here and let's see what Photoshop will generate in this case. As you can see, we have three possibilities here which all look pretty good. And I think I like the second one the most. So I will keep it. Then select the Generative Fill layer and the layer below and click Command E to make one layer out of it. So now you can blend it out, go to the second layer, select the part you want to replace and repeat this process for all of the layers in your image. I've already prepared this for you so you don't have to watch me typing in something for 25 images. And that's how it looks in the end. So 25 edited layers here, some look good, some look bad. So it depends all on your personal liking, whatever you want to generate here and whatever your subject of the hyperlapse looks like. So the next step will be selecting all of the layers, go to File, Export, and then Layers to Files. Choose a place where you want to save it, type a name if you want. I would not select this one in case there's still a layer uh, not visible, so you make sure to select all of them. Or so you can go and select PNG and then click Run. Back in Premiere, you want to import all of your edited photos here. I see I have chosen the wrong file type, but honestly it doesn't matter if PNG or JPEG. And select them all and click import. Make sure all of them are selected. Right click, new sequence from clip. And as you see here, all of the individual photos have been placed into the timeline, creating a video. And if you never edited a time lapse or hyperlapse in Premiere Pro before, go to the settings and timeline and make sure still image default duration is set to one. So each frame or each imported photo equals one frame in your final video. The next step will be placing your new clip on your timeline. I'm just gonna rename this one first here to nest. Go back to your sequence and just drag and drop your nested clip right in the in and out point of your timeline. Let's do a quick preview here, looking pretty good. If you want, you can nest your original and edited sequence again. I'm just gonna type in final hyperlapse here. You can, if you want, remove the sound, unlink and delete it. Set the out point to the end. You can then play around with your time remapping keyframes here. Show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed, resize this here, and then you can have some fun looping your hyperlapse. Maybe you can make it look like this, speed up the middle part also, and parts more and more, and create a smooth transition. Oops, come on. Create a smooth transition, duplicate the clip, reverse the second one, and now you've got yourself a loop of your AI-generated 
Hyperlapse. I hope you like this video and will be creating a lot of AA hyperlapses and have fun and be creative with the generative fill feature of Photoshop. And if you have any other topics or tutorial ideas I should show to you regarding time lapse or hyperlapse creation, make sure to leave a comment and also hit the subscribe button. Also make sure to check out the other tutorials I will put on the screen right now. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.